Mais dois. Welcome back to Wholesome Circuits. It's part three of the Dart 250 build. I know this is supposed to be a maiden video, but it's been about eight days since I finished building the Dart 250. I love this airplane and I feel like the maiden video wouldn't be complete without a couple of additional pieces of information. I'm gonna take you through day by day till the point that I felt like I got this wing flying nicely. All right, let's get right into it. So day one, I show up to the field, get a fix kind of coaches me through the initial process and we try to get this thing off the ground. This is what that looked like. Check it out. So what do you think of the plane? It's awesome. I'm really, really impressed with the build quality on it. Super clean. The foam is super nice too. Should we turn it on and check the servo direction? Yeah, I'd love to see this thing. Left aileron, right aileron, elevator pitch back, elevator pitch forward. What do you think? Look Looks correct? good to me, man. You want to start in the FPV goggles? I think I'll start in the FPV and you chuck it. Do you think that'll work? I don't see why it wouldn't work. Okay. Can I see your throttle? Sure. A little more. A little more. Right there. Yeah, so it's going to be a good... Good amount, yeah. So I'll leave it at three quarters throttle, you throw it. Yeah, hopefully this is enough deflection. You're gonna wanna use throttle about where it is when you take off. You could not worry about adjusting it. I'm just gonna try and get you a nice straight launch and we'll see what it does, I mean. So that didn't exactly go to plan. The reason behind this, the Dart doesn't really have enough power on QS with the stock motor. Now that I've made it a lot heavier with this big GPS puck and my whole uh, flight controller setup, it's a little bit over 250 grams. So we tried again the next day on 3S. We got this thing into the air. But there was one huge, huge problem. I had to mount the Caddx Tarsi or the camera up in the front upside down and I actually rotated the image upside down so that it would appear right side up. However, what I had failed to notice when I set this airplane up the first time is that the image was actually flipped horizontally where right was left and left was right. And I didn't really catch on to this until the airplane was in the air. So I was freaking out, I was really scared and Get a fix talked me through it and I somehow managed to land the plane. I was really happy that I had gotten it to fly, but it was also a deeply terrifying experience having to like fight my intuition and steer the wrong way to get the airplane back down. So let me show you what that looked like the next day. Here we go. <laughs> Now after that, I felt pretty good about my build because I knew all I had to do was actually fix the camera flipping issue and everything would be great. And it was. So let me show you what that looked like the next day. Here we go. Lift 
lifted up really close, huh? Really close. Dude, my airplane is flying. Yes. Yeah, look at it up here. It's so beautiful <laughs> up here. Distance to home, direction. To You're going home. straight for a crow, you see it? Oh. oh. What are you in, angles? Yeah. Oh, it's good. Awesome. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Dude, that was awesome! Yeah! yeah. Did y'all see that? That was so dope! So at this point, I had the airplane flying properly, I had the image proper, and I wanted to start testing some of the more advanced features of iNav. I was really excited at the prospect of auto launching, so I actually set auto launch on a switch and crossed my fingers, and I just threw this thing. Okay, so I'm in launch mode, arming, armed, raising throttle 70%, and... No way. <laughs> what do you think of that, my man? That's awesome, dude. That worked so good. Yeah, it did. I just launched a plane by myself. I didn't know if it was gonna actually work, and it did, and it was amazing. I copied in all of Viper FPV settings that he shows for auto launch on his video. And the link to that video is in the description. And I'm even gonna put the settings right here for you to see. Um, these are the settings that I use on my Dart 250. And you can get a description of all the parts that are in my build. So you can see if this is gonna work for you. I feel like it's flying pretty good. It's a small wing, so it's still got a little bit of flutter. I'm gonna run auto tune and see if we can improve the flight performance a little bit but i hope you enjoyed this i hope you liked seeing my initial progression into wings with the zod dart 250. these are my closing thoughts for the video this wing is gorgeous it's really really strong and it's really easy to fix if you're coming from multi-rotors and you're comfortable with setting up flight control software and you really want to get into wings i would actually encourage you to take the plunge like i did and get into Wings, get into iNav, get into all that good stuff on this platform. It's not really very expensive and it's really strong. It's holding up well. Uh, I've had to do a bunch of repairs on it about a week in, but as my comfort and skill as a pilot grows, I think I'll get better and better at not damaging my airplane. I can't wait for all the long range adventures I have planned with this on the lithium ion setup. And we'll see just how far we can go. Um, we're gonna end with some epic aerial chase footage. Here we go. Cheers.